Hackers leak mental health records, demand Bitcoin ransom. In a sad story out of Finland, hackers access the online mental health records of 30,000 Finnish people who are using this service that was built by this Finnish wunderkind who had built this idea we should make mental health accessible to people, easy to use, online, and secure. But even when, and according to the court records, even when he knew that his system was available to be breached and vulnerable to hackers, he didn't safeguard it. And when the hackers hacked the childhood sexual trauma of some of these people or their most intimate details and dirty laundry, he wouldn't pay the ransom. He allowed their stuff to be all over the internet because he didn't trust the hackers to keep their word. Now the victims of their mental health records being leaked, they say it's a lot harder for them to go and talk to somebody else. Their deepest, darkest secrets they thought were safe but now they're for the world to see. Which begs the question, who can you and I save? Who can you and I trust with our deep, dark secrets to keep them safe? Psalm 116. I love the Lord, for he heard my voice. He heard my cry for mercy. God not only hears your voice every time you call to him, he actually keeps it safe. It, it cannot be hacked, it cannot be stolen, it cannot be lost. There is no ransom to be paid because you have the ear of the Almighty. You have the Creator who says, I want you to talk to me and, and go ahead, cry out in mercy. I listen and I care for you. And he does it willingly in love, even with our many sins and our foolish things that we've done. God wants to hear all your pain, all your trauma, all your sadness, and he will keep it safe. So we love him. He's heard our cry, our need for mercy.